I have another perfume to review. Henry Rose Flora Carnivora. I love this scent. Two pieces. I'm wearing a hair piece. This is like a like a ponytail. I love it. So I went, you know, I was wearing a different outfit completely and I just changed. So it kind of went together, but this is the look. <sighs> Flora Carnivora by Henry Rose. Eau de Parfum, 1.7 ounces. This is normally like $125, I think, or more. I don't know. But I ended up getting it for like $70 on Mercari from this woman. I'm going to put her link because she sells these all the time. I'm wondering if she works like at a department store. Oh, and then she gets them as testers. I love this. Oh. When I love a scent, I love it. I love it. There's nothing. I could smell it 10 years from now and I'm still going to love it. You know what I mean? Like when I love a scent, I love it. Oh my God. It's so orgasmic. Jesus. For me, this is. Okay. I got to find the words. Obviously rose. There's like a sweetness to it. Oh my God. Am I already getting the. That, yeah, I am. You know, the tan that you get from driving. I, I can't explain it. It's just like a candied rose. Now, it's not like a Prada. What's it called? I feel like saying La Proxima, but it's not La Proxima. Oh, I can't remember the word. They have sweet scents. Like, you know, these sweet, sugary scents that everybody has that paradox. It's not a Prada paradox, like that whole super sweet sugar. No, it's so it's powdery. It's sweet. It's not cotton candy sweet. That's different. It's almost like baby cologne sweet. There's a light floral powder, light floral sweetness baby cologne, Spanish baby cologne. If you know Spanish baby colognes, if you're like, if you ever smelled a Spanish baby, you'd be like, these smell like a baby, but different, a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry, everybody else. Spanish baby cologne. That's what it smells like. But for an adult, I, the, the moment I smelled this, I told my essay at Nordstrom, I smelled it at Nordstrom. I'm going to buy this. But then I found it for half price on Mercari. And I was like, Hey girl, sorry about a Mercari half price. You know the deal. I'll buy something else from you later on. I'm so happy I bought this. This, the Heavenly Lilies. I just bought Dream by La Chamou. L-A-C-H-A-M-E-A-U. It's like a, a Arabic Mediterranean. It's called Dream. The J'adore L'Or, the Floral Jasmine by Dossier, and the Casablanca Lilies by Byredo. Those, I think it's five or six cents, are like everything to me right now. Like everything to me. I love all of those scents. I'm not sponsored by anyone. Never once has anybody paid me for anything. I got a couple of free things that I gave an honest review on. And trust me, some of those reviews were harsh because I'm honest. But this, come on there, girl. I need you oh, to go into Nordstrom. Or any place where they have this sprayed on yourself, walk around for 15 minutes and you tell me if you want to, mm, if you want to buy this, it's intoxicating to me. La Perla Precious, uh, Hanai Mori Butterflies, Kenzo Amore, that kind of like addictive, sexy, soft, powdery, floral scent that's just like, oof. I can't explain otherwise. I love this. If you have been following me and you like those scents and the ones that I've recommended, you're like, girl, thank you. Lease 41 by La Labo. I'm telling you, like, but this is softer. This is a, a soft, sensual. Teachers can wear this. People in the medical field can wear this. It's not going to offend anybody. It's just soft and sweet. It smells like a baby, but they made it for an adult. Oh my God. That's what I have for you guys. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my stuff, come back for a while. If you like the scents that I like, subscribe. I'm only going to recommend things that I like. I will tell you the scent profile of something 
And then I will tell you, but I'm not buying it. I wouldn't buy this. You know what I mean? Because I'm honest. But if you like this kind of scent, then buy it. Because I feel like if you like spicy, whatever, buy it. If you like florals, buy it. If you like fresh clean, buy it. I will tell you what it is. But with this one, if you like soft florals, like J'adore de ou. If you like J'adore de ou. If you like Cacherelle Cabotini. If you like Ane Ane or Anais Anais. If you like La Perla Precious, if you like La Perla Invisible, I think it's called, I think it's called Invisible, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. You're probably going to love this more than those. This is good. <laughs> good. Well, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. I'm going to put the link for this lady below because I'm sure she's going to pop up with this again. And if she does, I'm going to buy another bottle because I'd rather have a backup. This is nice. I've already decided that the perfumes that I have now, like the Ellie Sab La Parfum, which I love, I already have a backup for it, but that's it. I'm not buying it again. The La Perla Precious, I'm not buying it again, even though it's one of my favorite scents. I kind of want to move forward into different things, and this is one of the ones I'm moving forward into. I love the Casablanca Lily by Byredo. I love the Floral Jasmine by um, Dossier, which is a dupe for Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge or Rouge Jasmine. Amazing. Um, so that's kind of like where my nose is going. I love J'adore L'Or. I love J'adore De Ouh. Like that's kind of like where I'm going as opposed to where I was. You know what I mean? Um, all the scents that I love are all discontinued. So I got to find new ones. And these are my new, my new staples right now. So that's what I have for you guys. Mwah. Until next time. Bye.